Welcome back F11 members to part two of the fundamentals of post-production video tutorials for issue 84, January 2019. So uh, in part one we made these images you can see in front of me, three different raw conversions of the same image to be merged subsequently. This one on the left is the one that's been optimized for the foreground. This one on the right is the one that's been optimized for excuse me um, the middle ground and this one in the middle is the image that's been optimized for the sky uh, the, the one on the right's got a touch of dehazing uh, but as you can see it's losing some detail in the sky here top right so let's start. I usually tend to work with the brightest layer as the background layer. So what I'm going to do is then just take the middle layer, i.e. the mountain layer, let's call it. I'm going to use my actions here. Make sure that image is highlighted. And I'm now going to play, select, cut and close that image there. And now I select here. The brightest layer and, and then I just play paste and it's going to paste that middle layer on top of it and now I'm going to come back and do the same with the sky layer so select cut and close play that action and now paste that on top of the other two and that's done so move the actions out of the way for the moment keep things simple. Let's bring in my layers palette here uh, and there you can see the three layers the sky layer, the middle layer for the mountains and the background layer and by clicking on the on and off the eye on the left of the layer in the layers palette I can hide or see each individual layer. So for the moment, let's just ignore the sky layer. So I'm going to click the eye off so that we don't see it. And what I want to do now is apply a layer mask to layer one, i.e. the mountain layer, so that all I can see of that layer is the bit that I want to, which is virtually the top half of the picture. I want to be able to see through that layer to see the trees here in the foreground. So, the way I do that is by bringing in my tools here. Let's bring them right over here. Let's go up on my magnification a bit. Command plus. And uh, now, using my the lasso tool, I'm just going to roughly select the area of the image that or the area, yeah, the area of this middle image that I want to see, which is everything but the foreground, okay? So, there you are. I've selected that relatively accurately, but I'm not worried too much because I'm going to feather that selection and apply a layer mask so that I can see through the layer, that layer, to see the trees down the bottom of the image there. So what I do now is I'm going to go for a mass of feathering of that of 150 pixels across that edge there to make it soft but relatively accurate. So I'm going to play that selection and that works pretty well, doesn't it? And what I like about that is actually there's no halo along this edge at all really. It looks very natural. Uh, that's done that. I really don't need to modify that selection at all. So that's worked well. Okay, now let's uh, just move my actions out of the way again. Now let's turn on that top layer again so we can see it, the sky layer, and I'm going to do the same here. Uh, ju but just before I do, I'll switch it off. Can you see what's happened here? Let's be really logical and precise about what we're doing here. So you can see layer one, which is the middle layer, which is we'll call the mountain layer. A mask has been applied so that you can you see where the black is 
in this mask here to the right of the actual there. That's the mask. We can see through the black, see through that part of the layer to the layer underneath, which is the bright um, trees beneath. And now we're going to do the same here with layer two, the sky layer. We're going to apply a layer so that we can see through everything but just the bit of the sky that we want to see. So again, I'm going to bring in my tool. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Lasso is still selected. Okay, so I'm going to actually make this uh, selection along the top of the mountains here. Again, I'm not worrying about being too precise. Having said that, this is really where using a, a graphics tablet helps. I really struggle doing this sort of work with a mouse, as I said last month in my field trial of the graphics tablet. So I've made that selection. This time I really want a very, very smooth, uh, soft edge to this transition. So bringing in my actions again here, I'm going to select a mask of 400 pixels there. All right, that's relatively soft there. And now just play that. Oh, stop that. And what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Let's just stop and consider. So what I've done here is I forgot to select that layer. So it's trying to make a mask on top of a mask. So let's just rewind, go back, bring in my histories palette here. When you're working with layers, it's so, so easy to get uh, confused. So I'll go back to lasso uh, and now make sure that the right layer is selected. There it is. See, okay. So now I can play this, this uh, action here mask 400 there uh, and I've done that now and again you can see up here let's move up that out of the way up here in the layers tab you can see that uh, a second layer has a second mask has been applied this time to the top layer enabling us to just see the sky bit of that layer enabling us to see the two layers beneath and again it's done a really nice job of giving a soft edge to that layer that looks natural. I don't really don't need to apply any kind of, uh, I don't think I do, any kind of uh, refinement to the edge of that layer mask. I'm quite pleased with that as is. So what else do I need to do? Uh, just pause, consider, look at the image. And I suppose the glaring thing to deal with now is this magenta cast in the top right hand corner of the image. This could be tricky. This could be tricky, but let's just give it a go and see how it works out. So the image is still not flattened, so I'm only going to be working on this top layer here. Uh, now I've selected the sky layer here, not the mask, but the actual layer here. And I'm, again, I'm going to use lasso here. And I'm just going to select the area of the image that I feel has this color cast. And now I'm going to feather that again, make for a soft edge to that. So again, I'm going to go for a feather of around it. Now, can you see I've got this action? It's called feather. I'm going to go for a feather of 100 pixel radius there. And now if I come up to the top layer, go image adjustments, and there's a color balance tab. So I'm going to come down here, bring this in here. And it's a magenta tab, the magenta cast that I've got there. So I just need to, on this slider, just dial in a touch of cyan. We see if I go too far you can see the effect. And just a hint, I think, does the trick. 
I'm going to need to just adjust this a little bit more here. This, but can you see that it's working? I'm just going to cancel this. I'm just going to go back in my history to Lasso, boom, the one before that, Add Layer Mask. And now I'm going to just bite off a little bit more of that selection here. And again, feather that. And then this time I'm going to give it a softer feather, 150 pixels. And again, image adjustments, color balance. And then just dial in a touch of cyan on that area of the image. And I can take out that magenta cast. Got to be so careful here. I don't go too far. I think that does the trick quite nicely. I don't know what caused that. I'm pretty sure it's something, it was possibly flare or some filter aberration. Um, and these sort of problems can really mean that uh, pictures are lost, but I think I've dealt with that. And there we have it, there's the picture. So I'm going to flatten the image now. So as you can see, I've got another image, another action for that. Flatten that. And there we have it. The picture's done. I'm quite pleased with that. It was a superb. Oh, I just need to select, deselect. It really was a special morning, but the light was changing so, so, so quickly. It was seconds, really, before it was popping over the top of the mountain and everything was just too harsh. Okay, so that was... Uh, this uh, post-production video tutorial and we'll do more good stuff next month and please do send in your suggestions. Thank you.